And Jumbo! Hi. Just a uh, fair warning, turn the volume down a Turn the volume down a little bit because Tavia's screaming today. She's not screaming. I don't know what's going on. I don't really know either. I don't either. How do we like this? So I'm doing like a 90s, 90s chic thing. You know how in the 90s how boys used to wear like their t-shirt and then the unbuttoned thing? Is that a 90s thing? Doing a very thing? 90s thing, yeah. Oh. Well, because I was just going to wear the black tee, but then it was just a little chill chill this morning. So I wanted like a little... Cape? Yeah. A little, oh, I put, on the, I put on the cloak. How'd it go? You know, it looks good with a pair of dress shoes. Like, you gotta dress it up. It can't, otherwise, it just looks like a robe. <laughs> <laughs> so you I look have like this, a homeless person just coming over? I have this, uh... Cape. I have, yeah, it's a cape. It's a cloak. It's a and Harry it's Potter a, cloak. A, asymmetrical. It's got a hood on it. I love it. It's very cute, but it, it's... What does asymmetrical mean? Does that mean it's the same shape on both sides? Well, so it's, like, cut from the back, and then it goes down. Like, you know how people have those... Oh, yeah, it's like cuts. a Karen. Yeah, it's a Karen cut. It's a Karen cut. cut. Anyway, I got this years ago, and Tavia, I don't know if she likes it or doesn't, but she calls it my invisibility cloak, and I love it. It makes me feel of like, is it, was that I know, Billy Madison, where like, he, Adam Sandler told the kid to put on his sunglasses and nobody could see him when he was nervous? Like, I feel like you just put your cape on, and you're like, nobody can see me. No, I love it. It's <laughs> like snuggy, like when it's kind of a little bit chilly, and then you pair it with like a skinny jean and a, a you nice know what it shoe. Is. You know what it is? It's very, um... Daniel Levy, yes, New York, yes. rainy fall vibe. It's yes, it's very fashion forward. It's very I fashion. Really, I was forward. thinking about that this morning, like because nothing fits me. I mean, we talk about this every single week. Nothing me fits either. Us. Well, you're on a shopping spree, but I need to go on a shopping spree. I need a whole new wardrobe because I want to get back into fashion. You know how I used oh, to like pull like a cute outfit together and stuff, and now I just wear the same thing over and over. Are you and doing the Scott Disick where boring. he was like super fab and then he's just like sweatpants? I mean, yeah, I think so. Okay. And I just need I just need some new clothes. I need to be inspired again. But I don't want to go shopping. I put on I need a to. I put on a heel. By oh. heel. Oh. I know. By heel I mean a mule. So like a thick, sturdy, not gonna let this big body down kind of heel. And I'm not kidding you, my ankles hurt this morning. I was like, ooh. <laughs> when did Ow. you wear them last night? This for morning. Dinner? No, I just wore them this morning to run just... my little errands. Okay. <laughs> my mule. And I was like walking through and I was like, oh God, you know when you're Oh no, I'm on call. Well, you need it. Oh Hold on. boy. Oh, it's just my brother. Okay, good. Um, call him back. So I'm I think busy. you're lying because I see your Rothies over there. No, I but hundred percent that you're lying. No, my mules are um down. Oh, okay, all right. By the door. Okay. You need to start practicing besides the, for summer. Yes. Besides the the green camo doesn't go with my baby blue shirt. I wore my that brown would. mules. That would it totally would. Oh. One hundred percent. So really quick, I was really listening quick. to the podcast that I just did with Nikki. Did you see it? Uh, no, I haven't watched it yet. Okay. I uh, saw the picture. It looked cute. Okay. You guys are very professional with your microphones. I know we were, but here's the deal is like the mic. Is that your camera? Is that your webcam thing that they put on a stick? No, it was Nico's. Oh, okay. Yeah. But here's the thing is that I like the way I sound here. Better. Yeah. That one. I, I mean, first of all, that mic needs to not be in front of me. And we've established, yeah. So one of the mics, one of the mics, over there in the corner. One of the mics is a dummy mic because there's only one import to the computer. Mm. But they put the live one in front of me, mm. and we've decided one after one. listening to it that the live one needs to go in front of Nikki because she's a soft talker. Mm. Like mm. sometimes when you talk to her, she's like this, and mm. I'm like, I have to look at her mouth because I'm like, mm. what are you saying? Mm. Like I need action. I need hands. I need like. Deep, down, yeah. down in your stomach. So Nico's like, okay, on the floor. yeah. Nico's like, so trial and error. We're gonna go ahead and put the live mic in front of Nikki because Tavia projects when she speaks. I was like, that's a nice way to say that I'm loud. Yeah, I'm loud. You're loud. I'm loud. That's but I felt how I like this one. I know, but I felt like I sounded just like manly loud on that one. And like this one, I still have like a little bit of cute voice. Well, and I've always worried about that because we do not have mics. And I think most podcasters have mics or like a something. Like on I, their lapel. Yeah. And we don't. So I've always worried about the audio quality, but you say it sounds pretty good. Do you not listen to us? No. I listen I, to us <laughs> in the car. I thoroughly love it. Do you? I giggle to myself. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I know. Tavia texted me. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. She goes, you know, just, you know, we're funny. We <laughs> are funny. <laughs> I just need people to know that we're funny. Right, yeah. I think we're fucking hilarious. Oh, sorry. That was that was aggressive. That was aggressive. So I do listen to us when I'm editing, because I'll chop the first the, 
Do you giggle? Do you giggle a little bit? I do. You know, I was think what I was thinking about doing today is doing a little snippet thing again. Because that was cute last time I did that. What do you mean a snippet? Or like a little preview thing on my Instagram and be like, new episode. Yes. So I need to do that today, but. Yeah. Yes. We got to get people listening, driving, I know, but it's, just, it's taking up so much of my time. If you could just handle something here, <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. I do. I handle the studio <clears throat> space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I pay the studio you space even, rent. You don't even get it set up. You put two chairs. You didn't even bring the light out. I pay the rent here and the lights and the heat <laughs> so you're warm. I wish we could have the fireplace well, on. Well, Daddy doesn't do that because he thinks it smells like we're going to blow up. I know. Okay. Okay, so real quick, I asked Colin. He seems to be in a mood. I can't remember. Did we talk about that you're phasing off of on here? No, but we can. So Colin and I are both proud members of the Anti-Anxiety Depression Medication Club. Honestly... It makes us feel happy. It well, I mean, so to to backstory, <laughs> I was going through a very dark time, like Britney Spears, circa what two thousand six. No, it was before that. Thank God, I was on it for the quarantine. Oh God, I would have died when you like stage five clinged, like catfished. What's mm-hmm, his name? Mm-hmm. And showed up at. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, I went through a dark, dark period. Colin needed a and phone, like a, like a life alert. Yeah. Life alert button. Quick story, just real quick, we're gonna touch on it. No names, but I no names. was dating somebody and he was messing with my head, and you don't mess with my head. So I ended up catfishing him, <laughs> having him invite me over because he wouldn't talk to me to confront him. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And yeah. then I found out the next day and my mouth hit the floor and I was like, <laughs> You're clinically insane. Yeah. And I yeah. think that was the moment when I, I was think like, that was the moment when you told me that you were standing in the parking lot and he comes around the corner and you're just there being like, what the? <laughs> Wait, didn't we go to, to lunch with Jay and Andrea the next day and I was telling you guys about this? And I think we all looked at you like... And then I crazy. started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's when we were like, it's okay to need help. Yeah, yeah. Like 1-800... And then I was I crying mean, in the car with Jay. I was a mess. Yeah, he was a mess. So, so I got started, on some depression. So I went pills. on antidepressants, and it definitely, I, I mean, this was the first time that I've been on them. I, I think this is important to talk about, because yeah. I think mental health is a big thing yeah. right now. Yeah, I've been on and off of them. I've been on and off of them before. Yeah. So I, I was scared to go on them because I didn't know. I've heard in the past that they make you feel yeah, not like yourself. You don't like, I think that's everybody's fear is like, you're going to take them and become some sort a of zombie. like drooling right. zombie. And so I was scared to take them and I, I took them and I mean, it was just, it was fantastic. I mean, I felt so much better. It, it's not quick. It was after a couple months yeah. and I love the way that I felt on it. It helped with my anxiety. Yeah. It was great, um, but I feel like they're making me gain weight, and so... You could just switch to a different prescription, but <laughs> instead, like Colin is playing Russian roulette with all of our emotions. He right. is backing down on the anti-pills. Well, I'm off of it completely now. Oh, so he is going straight. And I think I was a little crabby the other day. I told you what my mom said, right? She goes, I go, can you notice the difference while I'm on him? She's like, oh yeah, you're definitely bitchier. I'm like... When you're well, off of them. Yeah, right. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I would agree with that statement. He gets to be attend a little bit like more quick tongue. That's what he that's what she said. Like your, my barbs are up. Yeah, like your 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 quick witted tongue snaps are there and you're kinda like Yeah. Whoa, bitch fest, calm down. So anyway, so I'm going off of them and I've already lost a pound. So I don't know if that's in correlation or I'm just working out really hard and eating twelve almonds, but I don't know. We'll see. I want to be skinny for the summer so I can be slutty on Instagram. And then maybe for seasonal depression in winter, maybe I'll just <laughs> hop right back So on. here's the thought is he's going to be a complete psycho, but skinny as hell. Slut, yeah. But you're not going to be a hot. slut because you've got Jacob. Well, you be slutty on Instagram. Okay. Okay. I met Jacob. Uh, new slut. Oh my God. Yeah, we haven't... Okay. Yeah. So I give us the whole synopsis of what happened then that evening. Oh yeah. I met Jacob. He's so cute. Like he's very cute. He's so Adorable, cute. Yeah. And his baby blues. Yeah. And he's tall. So like when I gave him, like, I'm a hugger. I am not gonna be like so I and I'm an over the shoulder hugger. Mm-hmm. So I had to like whoop up on my tippies to give him a squeeze. His first hug was like a little bit more like dainty, right? It was like Yeah. I don't know like how much we squeeze, right? Right. And then by the end of the night, there were staircases, like steps to go out of the restaurant. I stood on the steps, so I was more in like bear hugging position. I got a bigger squeeze that time. Yeah. But that was after I had held you for like 45 seconds. Well, and that's after you had how many margaritas? 
too. Spices. Yeah. But he's so funny. He's so laid back. His poor shirt that night. Yeah, he was just slobbing he was all just, over that shirt. <laughs> every, every time he tried to take a bite, it was just like, boom, 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 boom. Yep. yep. But he played it, it off cute. well because... Yeah. So I we mean, went to... Uh, some people would be emotional about it. Me, I probably would have freaked out. Uh, we went to Teo <laughs> Cali, which is a taco office. place in Lafayette. Yep. And we had morgues and taco. I thought it was pretty good. What did you think of it? Okay. No? We didn't vibe on it? Oh, you got sick after, No, didn't I didn't you? get... Samantha got sick. Oh, okay. She woke up she with heartburn, heartburn right? and like threw up the next morning. Right, yeah. Mind you, Samantha did not go on our date with us. She just happened she showed to up. go to the same restaurant with all of her friends so she could right. see us. You know what we didn't do? We didn't set a timer. So we got to watch the oh, clock. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I think we have maybe 20 more minutes. Well, we're we're at eleven minutes. So twenty. Oh, so twenty. Let's do fifteen. Yeah. Hey Siri, this is great content right now. Yeah. Hey Siri. <sighs> hey Siri. Okay, do it on your phone. <laughs> Alexa, set a timer for fifteen minutes. What's going oh, on? Oh, she's upstairs. The one upstairs heard us. So is that gonna alert us? Upstairs, Alexa. Set a timer for 15 minutes. Second timer. 15 minutes. Second, Second timer. timer. See, my that's bedroom. how loud you are. <laughs> Upstairs, Alexa. My, be you. my bedroom above us was like, timer set. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we're back. So, t t uh, Samantha did not join us. She showed up. She got, she got heartburn from it. She got it. heartburn. You guys. We were a little bloated and gassy. I wasn't at all. I don't know. It just rubs us the different ways, I guess. That was How was good. Jacob? He was fine. He just had to spritz his shirt. Uh, he changed. He changed into sweats, and, and then we watched okay. Drag Race. Oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. So Colin was... I can tell also when Colin's... Um, now that he's off his friendly... Oh, rocker. Friendly vibes. Um, when he's in need of some love, it's extra oh. passionate. Because normally you can tell when he just needs, like... A cuddle. She's talking about sex. Yeah, you can tell when he just needs a little bit because he's already just like a little wound. But now that he's not on the pills that help his woundness, yeah. it's like he needs love. Yeah. And so I said, what is up your butt today? Because <laughs> he was a little bit feisty when he got here. Mm -hmm. I said, did somebody tickle you the wrong way? But then he told me that he wants to get tickled. And... They're buying ropes or something. Yeah, we're doing ropes. So Jacob is very wait, adventurous. Wait, like this is something you talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, Jacob is very adventurous. He's, um, you know, he's 23. So I think he wants yeah. to explore and do things. And so... Um, what, is he hanging you from the ceiling? Well, no, but so... Okay, have you ever heard of edging? Like I don't know you, if I've told you this before. When you get so your, this is going to be you, a, a natural reaction. Okay, when you get like your hair edged? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. What? No. So edging is like, is uh, where somebody like is, is jerking you off, but they like take you to the like edge and then they stop. And then, so it's like a, it's like a, it's like a game. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was getting into edging. So I had a couple of guys tie me up and edge me. When was me. this? I know. See, this is an action. When was action. this? When was this? I don't know. It was right before uh, Jacob and I started seeing each other. I was kind of getting into it, like dabbling a little bit. You had people tie you up. Yeah, which it, it was They're scary. They're gonna kill you. I know that's what. And I was like, I remember the first guy that did it to <laughs> oh me. I was like, God. and we were done. And do I, you have a safe word? I, no, and I was like, thank you for not murdering me. And he looked at me like, okay, you're welcome. Because <laughs> I mean, you're helpless, right? And like, that's kind was of the he fun, really right? tied you up? Yeah, to and what? I folded and everything. There's a bed downstairs. In in a basement. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Colin. So anyway, so I told Jacob that I was kind of getting into this, and he's like, "Oh, well, I'm I'm down to try this." And so we're gonna go get. He's like, "We should go to Home Depot." And I'm like, mm, "Maybe not. I don't want a rug burn. I don't want a rope burn. Maybe we go to the sex store and get like a kit. You know? Do they so, have a kit? Yeah. You don't want to come with us. You don't want to just get the. Maybe you could pick something up for you and Luke. You don't want to just go to Home Depot into those big rolls and just pull the rope down and be like, "I need you to cut it there." So I <laughs> no, tie. absolutely not. What? What is he gonna tie you to? Probably my bed. Yeah. Like, yeah, like spread eagle. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. well, you? This is Dexter style. Like, you are gonna get yourself in a predicament where you're gonna find a heart or a knife in your heart because someone's gonna just. It's my time. It's my time. Well, now I'm all wifed up now, so now I have somebody to, that I trust. I think you're the wife. 
See, you don't know how adventurous I am in the bedroom. I know, but I think you're the wife when you say you're a wife, Dad. Well, that's just a term. Okay. Like you're with somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the anyway, wife. He's I'm the wife. Just so you know. Maybe you Mook should try it. No? Do you want to borrow the kit after we, you want me to tie break him up? it in? You want me to tie him up to something? Yeah. How do you feel Luke would, how do you think Luke would go if he's like, ooh, this is fun. And they'll be like, don't worry, it's Colin and Jacob. So he'll be like, <laughs> okay. I don't think he would care, honestly. <laughs> He'd be like, whatever. He'd be like, what part of their bodies was this? <laughs> I'd be like, just their arms and their legs. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing, nothing weird. Oh my God. Could you imagine if my kids bust in and daddy's just like strapped down, strapped down to the bed? With a blindfold on. <laughs> Like, are you guys playing hide and seek? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I would just like toss a blanket over him and be like, play dead. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I pretty much am. Yeah, that sounds terrifying. I don't like it. That sounds terrifying. I don't like that you went into someone's basement. I know, yeah. Was it like a finished basement or was it? It was finished. It was kind of weird because, okay, so he was married. Okay, to 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 a uh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, at least we've the got that. The boy knew about it. Apparently, the boy is not very adventurous, but he is. So that's why he does this. But they also had a baby, and the baby was sleeping upstairs. I thought that that was kind of weird, right? I'm sorry. Oh, it's Samantha oh, Richardson. We're gonna have to call her back. We're gonna have to call her back. So wait a sec. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. You were getting down with Daddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his baby was upstairs sleeping. Taking a nap. Was he on duty? Yes, because the husband was not there. I know. Is that that's Colin? Not... You're making questionable decisions in your life. How was that? It's not my baby. How was that questionable? Being in that environment is questionable. <laughs> that whole. See, this is why I don't tell you these things. No, I, you have. Judging. I'm See, not judging. Not judging. I'm not judging you. Mm -hmm. I ate crackers with butter. Okay. I'm not judging you. Just you. tell the whole world that. I don't that. care. Try it. Club crackers <laughs> with a little butter. It tastes good. I did. I walked into the kitchen and she was scooping butter. <laughs> Club crackers. I was like, what are you doing? I now want people to tune in because I feel like they might have like a visual of me being like Jabba Tied the up. Hutt. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we went different, different, different sides there. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you tied me up and fed me crackers with butter, oh, I'd be. Oh, see, that could be, that could be a thing. First of all, I'm not going to get aroused by food eating. Oh, well, you never know. Don't I, knock it until you try it. Looks like you want some butter. Yeah. <laughs> rub I'm it on not, your mouth a little bit. I'm not Jabba the Hutt. I just <laughs> eat like Jabba. What are we going to have for lunch? Oh. Have we thought about that? As I squish my fat. 12 almonds? I already had that. I'm not eating 12 almonds, but we probably don't need... How do you feel about the curls? I like it. I think it looks good today. All right, so Ooh, especially on camera too. I think it looks really yes, good on camera. Like it, it, looks, it frames your face. It works better than the straight. I don't know. I like the straight, but you know, I like it. You like the weird bubble. No, you know who does that is Kim Kardashian. She's it's also very trendy. She's also a hundred pounds. What does that? Have I got to do like anything? I got like three kids on her. Also, I don't think she is. But second of all, what does that have to do with anything? Her face I is like, like gaunt. Gaunt. She doesn't have the. This guy. I noticed this in my table talk. I was like, oh, God, we got to get rid of you. Is that what you guys call it? Table talk? Table talk Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Like TV talk? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, so, that's a good one for our, our thing. Make a cute picture and that's going to be our... Do you want a new one? Oh, no. Then I have yeah. to... Then oh. I have to like edit. You know how... See, again, how much work do I put in this? I edit... I photoshopped that picture. Yeah. With the, it's a TV talk. He did good. So anyways, you're going to rope each other. Yeah. Oh, Jacob. So anyways, Jacob is like the nicest guy. Um, I would like you to not fuck it up. Okay, language. Sorry. I'd like you to not mess it up. <laughs> I told you what Janelle said, right? When I told her that I was going off my antidepressant, she's like, you're in a committed, solid, healthy, healthy relationship. relationship. Perfect time to go off your meds. So I was like, yep, time to fuck this shit up, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I feel like I need Jacob's phone number sooner than later so that when you start to make questionable moves in this relationship, I can text him and be like, don't worry. It's going to be fine. It, he, it's a little rocky patch. I've got some extra pills. Him. We're going to crush him up and put him in his OJ. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get him back on the meds. I need to talk to him about this because I haven't know? told him. Does he know that you were on meds? No. Well, don't make it sound like you're bipolar. I'm not bipolar. No, no, not at all. Not what are you going to say? But I'm no longer on the medication that keeps me stable. No. <laughs> I don't know if it's that severe. I go through dark periods for sure. I've dealt with depression my whole life. Me too. And I've never had 
something to help me through those like really dark times and it was nice yeah. but I think that like I'm fine now you're happy but I so I don't know I just need to have a conversation with them saying that you know I might be a little bit different because I was on an antidepressant I just don't know how far into it I want to go that's that's my reservation because I don't want to go into the whole D I stalked word, D word situation you know what I mean? yeah I stalked a guy was a lot. It was a lot. I catfished well, him well no I can say that but I don't I don't want no, like I don't the, actually I don't want think, the backstory of like I don't why think it all you happened. should ever tell him that you why catfished somebody what if he's my partner in life that I have to tell him well everything? you can tell him that when and you're also you met him you know how easygoing he is like he's not gonna care I think he really liked me he told me that he liked you who does he like better I think he likes you better than Luke which is weird because I like Luke better, better than, than Luke. Better I wasn't than, talking about Luke. I was talking about I like the other, Luke better than you. I was talking about the other bitches. Oh, mm. I don't know. I don't think that he said. Mm. I don't think that he said about the other two that they. He's really because he openly said that in the car. He's like, I really like Tavia, and I didn't prompt it or anything. But does, does he like Luke? Yeah. No, he said he likes Luke too. But he really likes me. He really likes you. He said Luke's really easygoing. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Duh. Mm -hmm. But he obviously likes me more than the other girls. So. That's you know why? Because I'm older, wiser. Definitely older. Smarter. Our birthday's coming up. Beautifuler without makeup, Avi. Our birthday dinner is not this coming week, but it's next weekend, right? Yeah, the 13th. And then that girl that just called wants to plan a birthday dinner. Mmm, okay, here we go. <laughs> plants, plants. So, she wants to do like North Italia. What's that? Was that us? It's Samantha. Oh, what was that? You, you cover it, it oh. silences it. Oh, um, anyways, um, it's like a pasta place in Cherry Creek. Oh, oh, was that the place that Andrew really likes? She likes quality Italian. She likes quality Italian. I've still never been there. Have you been there? No, never been there. But I said, well, is this with it's girls divine. or no girls? And she's like, no, I love the whole Galvin family. And I said, okay. So girls, maybe the kids. So we got to talk about that next steps. Do we, do we introduce Jacob to the, to the fam bam? We're a little nervous about it because, again, yeah. I've had a previous boyfriend. Did mm -hmm. we talk about this? I can't keep it straight. I can't remember, but Colin, I was going to say Luke had a previous boyfriend. Colin had a previous boyfriend and... I feel like you thought that it was going further. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. right. And, um, which is okay to say. Yeah. Because we're like two years removed now. Right. But we did introduce the girls to him, and I got emotionally invested as well. And then when they broke up, it was really hard. On everybody. On everybody. Myself and the girls. Luke, he was fine. Um, yeah, Luke, see, even Keel. Luke was, okay, he was moving on. Yeah. The girls, though, would ask, like, for a year, mm -hmm. if not longer, like, hey, how's so-and-so? Like, are you guys getting back together? What happened? Da, da 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 Like, it was a lot. Yeah. And, like, they would ask about him mm -hmm. all the time. Or remember when we did this with so-and-so? So then I was like, oh, my God, like, how do we do this again? Right. Um, which is interesting because I asked the girls if they wanted to meet Jacob. And Olivia was like, no. And she was so, like, firm about it. And right, I was like, yeah. and Samantha was in the room for it. And I was like, why? She's like, I don't know. Like, are they together or did they break up? No, but I love that. But she's, she's, because like, she knows that she's like almost pre like preparing, like, right. are they together or did he break up right. with him? Right. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. So it's tough. It's tough. And then Savannah's like, I'll meet him. I'm like, oh God, Savannah. <laughs> Shit. But they've talked to him on FaceTime. Yeah. Like blurps. Mm -hmm. So they've mm -hmm. seen him. Mm -hmm. But it's different when they meet him in person because you know they're going to like touch him, crawl on him, snuggle him. And he's going to love it. He loves kids. But the thing is, so what is, where is, what is the period? So I think we've been together for three months now, four months maybe. Three, How four months. long were you with Brian? That was our entire, you just said his name. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we were together, I think, three months. But I really, in the beginning, see, that's what I think the difference is. Like, with Brian, it was hot and heavy in the beginning. Yeah. It was like, I, I feel like this is going to be yeah, something. Yeah. With Jacob, I like him, but it's like kind of like a slow boil. Like, I'm liking him more and more, but it's Every a time, slow, yeah. it's a a slow, slow build up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so, anyway, so we've been together three months. So, is it six months? Is it a year? Is it when they start asking? Like, what well, they already know that you guys are, well, 
we like to put labels on things here. So we're, we Boxes. like, yeah, we'd like to say, are we together? Like, how do I introduce them? I feel like you don't like when I say this is Colin and his friend. Yeah. Because it's physical. right. Well, what do I say? This is Colin's chum. What do I say? It's, <laughs> this is Colin's friend or this is Colin's boyfriend. This is Colin's. So, TV's just looking for that label. The well, the girls are going to say. I brought it up at who, dinner. You brought it up at dinner. You were trying to push for it. At I dinner. want to know. What did you say? I don't even remember, but you're like. What are you two? Yes. <laughs> are you you're great. exclusive? Yes. Yeah, we are exclusive. So that's what I'll say. I'll say this is Colin's exclusive friend. <laughs> exclusive friend, Jacob. And the girls are going to go, what works. does it mean to be exclusive? I'll be like, well, they're no longer boning other people, talking or kissing other people. <laughs> I can make it awkward for you two, or we could just I be like, think it's this awkward. is that's what it is. This is Colin's friend. That's a boy. This is Colin's new. I mean, I feel like we're endeavor. I feel, I feel like we're boyfriends at this point. We just need to. We just need to. I think it's more me than him. I'm a little scared to like say boyfriend. Yeah. Why you said I think he's ready else for the other it. day. I called him my hubby hub. I know. Oh, I can <gasps> Hold be on. Very sweet. Wait. Oh, that's oh, our time. How our... do you turn it off? We're gonna have to go up there and turn. Oh. Hold on. Don't yell at me. You think you hear blood everywhere. Everybody's eardrums. She takes a big breath in. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Alexa, turn off all timers. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work. Didn't no, work. Didn't, didn't work. work. Okay, so it's wrapping right, up. So we can go turn this up because I'm gonna have to go upstairs and yell at her. Yeah. You know the funny thing is Olivia was trying to get something. And she was like so enraged that she wasn't doing what she wanted. She's like screaming at her and looks like so. The more you scream at her, the less she understands you. And she's like, <laughs> ah! oh, mother like like daughter. Thank you so much for joining us on on I this. Want to kill you? So. Week's, week's episode. Jo uh, follow us on Collins Cosmos at Instagram, YouTube. Um, iCloud. No, Spotify, Spotify. iTunes. iTunes. Uh, follow, share, like, love us. We love you. And yeah. Yeah. That's how the cookie crumbles. It is. And we will check you on the next one. Ta-ta. Bye. <laughs>